What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be giving my game day report for the Miami Dolphins um, versus Cardinals game today, week 8. Um, definitely a big a big game today. Um, I mean, we're 2-4. and four. We have to... This is our only chance to really turn the season around. Uh, we do have Tua back, which is fantastic. Um, and he's coming back against a pretty bad Cardinals defense. Um, I, I think we should be able to run and throw on these guys. There is a possibility Tyreek Hill doesn't play. Um, he had a foot injury and didn't participate in practice Friday. Had limited participation Thursday. Um, I'm really hoping he plays. We did sign um, Dwayne Eskridge off of our practice squad, so that does kind of make me a little bit nervous, the fact that we felt the need to elevate a receiver. Um, but then again, I'm not super concerned because elevating him still only brings us to five receivers, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, Odell, Malik Washington, and Dwayne Eskridge. So I, I don't think it's too crazy. Um... I, I kind of have a feeling he'll probably play, but we'll see. Uh, and what he'll look like, we'll have to see in, in that regard, too. Uh, Storm Duck is questionable. I mean, is doubtful with an ankle injury. Uh, Cater Kohu is out with a neck injury. And Zach Sealer is out for who knows how long with an eye injury. And Based on what Mike McDaniel was saying, that must have sounded like his eye popped out or something. Because he was saying, like, you know, it, it, it was an injury that he's never seen before. I mean, people get poked in the eye all the time in football. So, that sounds horrific. But, I don't know. I'm just speculating. But, uh, as far as the Cardinals go, um, they're missing Roy Lopez, um, which is their starting uh, defensive tackle. So, that's going to help us out a little bit. Um Sean Murphy Bunting, a starting corner, is going to be out. Uh, Darius Robinson, another defensive lineman, will be out. Um, so yeah, they, they they are they are missing some guys. Uh, Calvin Beecham will probably play. Uh, he had full participation in practice Friday, so I assume he'll probably play. Um, but like I said, their 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 defense is pretty bad. There's nothing really super scary. L.J. Collier's all right. Um, Julian Aquara, sure. Uh, yeah, there's there's nothing really scary. I mean, Buda Baker is still a solid player, but th there's nothing really scary with their defense. There really isn't. Um, we should be able to run and pass on these guys, and hopefully we can carry that momentum forward. Um, now, on their offense, they do have a little bit to worry about. Kyler Murray, obviously, um... Super mobile, and we do struggle against mobile quarterbacks, so hopefully <laughs> that doesn't kill us too much. Uh, our defense has played pretty well, though, although we will be without Zach Sealer, which is unfortunate. Um, and also, with our defense, our interior D-line, we have a lot of nose tackles. We elevated Neil Farrell um, to the active roster from our practice squad, so that makes Benito Jones, Brandon Peely, and Neil Farrell active today. Uh, I assume because of Zach Sealer being out. But they're all nose tackles. The only, like, three-tech slash, like, three-four defensive end kind of guys we have are Calais Campbell and Deshaun Hand, which is a little weird to me. Um, I mean, I guess Emmanuel Ogba can play that a little bit if he needs to. But, I mean, we're so hurt at edge rusher that, you know, I don't know. It's, 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 it's a little weird to me. But, um... As far as the, like I, like I was saying with the Cardinals offense, um, James Conner, very consistent running back as well. We're definitely going to have to worry about that. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. has been getting pretty open against everybody. Uh, but Kyler Murray can't seem to find him. So hopefully this isn't the game where they get on track. Um, there's nothing else super scary about their wide receiver core. Trey McBride, though, at tight end is Kyler Murray's pacifier, his binky, his safety blanket. Uh, he's been going to Trey McBride a lot when he gets into trouble. It's actually kind of saved me in fantasy football so far this year, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, so that is definitely something we're going to have to contend with. Um, but we should be able to take these guys. I mean, our defense has played fairly well this season. And our offense should be able to move on these guys. Hopefully we can 
Like, I, I, I want to beat the shit out of them. I'm not saying that we will. I mean, our offense didn't look that great the first two weeks, even with Tua. So hopefully against this bad defense, hopefully we can get ourselves on track and, you know, really carry this momentum forward. Because, I mean, we're fucking 2-4. and four. We're going to have to go on one hell of a run. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.